Hello everybody, how are you doing today? I am doing very, very, very well today because <laughs> I have something very exciting to show you. Ta-da! This is my very first collection of stationary products that I am releasing. I am so excited to share all this with you. I have been working on these things for probably um just under a year or so so this is very very surreal for me um to even share this with you like if you've been following me for a while um you'll know how much i love stationery and stickers and washi tapes this whole collection is inspired by my time in japan things that i ate all the time or used or saw all the time anyway so today i'm going to talk you through um what i have here and then i'm also going to to do I have some little travelers notebook things to decorate first of all I'll show you my washi tape so I've chosen to break up the designs into three different sections we have the food of Japan the beauty of Japan and traditions of Japan um, so yeah and in total there is 20 designs like 20 characters um, so yeah just a little backstory <laughs> um, so first of all we have the food of japan this is a blue background washi tape and um i have it here as well the, i was actually really happy with the quality as i've said obviously this is my first time making anything like this and i was really pleasantly surprised with the washi tape so lots of delicious foods that i ate all the time in japan <laughs> um and that one is the be the food of japan has this cute cute sticker on the top as well and then we have the beauty of japan and i just really wanted to make like a very uh sakura like inspired cherry blossom inspired tape so that's kind of what this one is it's a little bit more um i don't know like cutesy i guess and that's this one here awesome. and this one does have a little subtle cherry blossom in the background as well just to like you know tie it in with the cherry blossom theme and then we have traditions of japan and this one reminds me most of my home in japan where i lived um because i lived in a very rural town and it was it was just steeped in traditions and traditional things you could buy as well um so some of them are on here we have the mask again um we have a daruma doll a kokeshi doll a lucky cat and this one here this akabeko is the mascot for fukushima which is where i lived um in japan and then we also have a kendama which is a, a traditional japanese toy so those are the washi tapes for you <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> very very excited about that if you can't tell um and then we also have what should i show you next probably these these are the um sticker sheets da -da -da, little sticker sheets so so exciting so you might notice that i have three washi tapes but i only have two sticker sheets food of japan and traditions of japan and that's because the beauty of japan um it only really had uh four major like big designs and then the other two were like more subtle design the cherry blossom and the the uh, fan so what i've done is I've just kind of taken out the cherry blossom and the fan for the sticker sheets and I've combined the traditions and the beauty in this one. So as you can see the masks are here and the Mount Fuji and the fish are here. So really this is traditions and beauty of Japan but um, I, just, I just did traditions of Japan as there's more of those designs on there so you are still getting the beauty of japan don't worry and then this one uh the food of japan i hope you can see this okay by the way i hope i'm in frame and everything um obviously it comprises all the food and the reason it's like this is for the food of japan i just had a lot more designs like i obviously ate a lot of food <laughs> so i had a lot more designs for food of japan so um that's why these two are combined and this one is just all food which but they're just so cute they're so small and cute um i have some here that i've already been playing with and testing out and i just like look how little this dongo is it's just so tiny 
I love it. I'm so excited to put these in my journal and everything. And then because we had 20 designs in total, which I didn't even think about what 20 individual stickers, that's a lot of stickers, I have decided to put them into four piles of five everything will be listed on etsy um and for the stickers you will we will see four sets of five stickers and that's how i'm going to do it because i find i find him for my first launch it's a bit overwhelming to do 20 individual stickers and work out the postage and all that kind of thing so i've decided it's just better if i do them in little groups so i really hope you don't mind that <laughs> um i'll show you the groups now so Let's move this one to the side and I've kind of done a mixture of foods and traditions and beauty but also um, color wise I just kind of put them together based on what colors I thought went nice together so this is the first set of five we have some traditions in here and some beauty and some foods little sushi friends cute one um, <laughs> So there's that one and then here's the next group. I really like this one. I love the ramen and the kokeshi. This also is a sausage um, because in the lunch boxes they usually have a sausage that they cut into a octopus. So that's the second set and then the third set we have the onigiri, big favorite that's a rice ball, some fried shrimp, um, the akabeko which means red cow by the way um the lucky cat and then this is taiyaki which is a sweet pancake and inside is usually red bean or custard it's absolutely delicious if you ever go to japan i highly recommend this so that is the set three and then the final set is little dongo which is the like sweet rice balls they're really good too and the flag the fish flag and cherry blossom and then you have two masks here these masks are used and this one as well are used in um plays and traditional traditional plays in japan and they all have different meanings as well so if you're ever curious you should have a little look online and see what they mean but um I've put these two together for this set. So each set will have three bigger stickers and two slightly smaller stickers um, as well. So it took some working out to make sure that it was all even. <laughs> so now I've shared with you my very first sticker slash washi tape collection inspired by Japan. Let's actually use it and put it to use and um, put it in my own journal. <laughs> so crazy. But yeah, let's let's uh, decorate one of my journals. Okay, so I've decided to decorate my 2023 diary. So this is what I'm going to be using for next year instead of the Hobonichi. Um, so I am going to decorate this one. Um, I have some little papers here that I just found. So for next year's diary, I have decided to use my traveler's notebook and that's not because I don't like the Hobonichi. I love the Hobonichi, but I, I, I just wanted to get a little bit more use out of my traveler's notebook now that I'm kind of home and I'm not like traveling so much i'm back in england so i kind of wanted to make sure i do get use out of it but i do still love 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 hobonichi so we'll see we'll see we'll see but for now um this is what i'm going to use so i before i left japan i bought these ready for the next year um this one is a free monthly uh it has 14 months 48 pages and it's an md cream paper really nice and then I also have two of these because these are only for six months so these are weekly um, so you just have the whole week in there and they are 28 weeks six months 64 pages so there we go so I'm going to decorate this one at first oh this is how the layout is by the way of the weekly so very similar to the Hobonichi Weekly that I've been using which I love I do love it um, so I need to decide how I want my front cover to look and this is going to be for the 
next the whole next year so I have to make sure that it's going to look really cute and I'm going to enjoy looking at it um what kind of sticker shall I choose so I think I'm going to do like a background like that I'm actually quite happy with that which is really funny because I've got all this paper to choose from <laughs> um I also do want to write 2022 uh, 2022 that would be good wouldn't it 2023 on it um I'm wondering whether to do something like this because this like brings you luck for the next year so there's that one or this Daruma oh it's so cute <laughs> can I say that about my own design <laughs> I don't know I'm so used to saying oh that's so cute that's so cute um can I say it about my own design I don't know I do I re I'm really happy with how they turned out I know I can say that much um but yeah something like that I, li I like the Daruma as well because if you don't know what this is um I'm sure you do though probably if you're watching this <laughs> but if you don't know what this is uh usually you have a Daruma at the start of the a new year and you color in one eye and you make a wish and then when that wish comes true you color in the other eye and at the end of the year everybody burns their Darumas in a big bonfire and you get a new one for the next year whether the wish came true or not you still burn the Daruma and make a new wish on your on the next Daruma so I love that part of tradition and one year I did actually go to this massive bonfire I had no idea what was going on so I was very upset by all the burning Darumas <laughs> until someone explained to me that it's um it's actually more bad luck if you hold on to it so it's better to to burn it and let the wish go into the atmosphere and etc so yes I was I felt quite silly that day but then I figured out the meaning of it so it's more important <laughs> I like the sushi too um when I say it's cute I just mean it like matches it looks nice cute I like that one too hmm I feel like I'm gonna have a hard a hard choice it's gonna be hard to choose but luckily I have three diaries that I'm going to be using this year so well two well one two at the same time and then an extra one a cherry blossom that could go on the back oh that looks quite nice as well it's too much choice i could put these ladies on i say ladies this is actually a man which should be a man traditionally i could do that because my current my current hobonichi if you see it has the same masks on so I could do that as a little hint to my previous year one so the first thing I'm going to do is stick down the uh, coloured the coloured paper and I'm going to use double sided tape to do that because I'm not sure if glue will stick to this i'm really not sure if, if glue will stick to that because it's got like a little bit of a texture to it uh it's not paper it's like texture and it's quite it's probably like a waterproof material i would say so i'm gonna i'm gonna say that normal glue would not stick to it um is what i imagine this is really really sticky double-sided sticky tape ah gosh so I'm going to stick it probably in the middle ish in the middle ish I'm not going to be too precious about it and stick that one down we might need a bit more in that corner or we could use some washi tape to stick it down this is going to go here and here maybe the pink one we could do the blue let's do the pink I might 
even stick some down here. Do I go? See, I still don't know which one to pick. This is so difficult. I'm not sure which is my favorite. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna stamp it first and then make sure that I like it. So I have these little um, rubber stamps. So I'm gonna have to do the two O and then the three and then do the another two. It's probably a good thing because I keep saying keep saying 20 <laughs> 22 which that would be annoying if I did it wrong okay that should look nice the next question is what color should I do I have all these colors I might do it dark pink or purple or green um, or I could just do black but or brown brown would be nice I think I'll do pink dark pink Hopefully that works because I've already stuck it down. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. Okay, and then we'll do the other two. Oh, it's going to go over the first two again. Oh, that's proving more difficult than it looks. Oh, it's nice. I like that. Now I'm going to stick the stickers on because I think I'm happy with them. That's quite cute. I might go with that because we have the lucky cat down here. Next year is actually the year of the rabbit, which is exciting. I'm going to do this before I change my mind. I know I said the sushi all along. But now I've done the darker pink. I kind of want to do this. My first sticker. Here we go. There we go. Put it higher or lower. That's good. Yay. It's really cute. I'm so happy with it. It looks great. Okay, so that's the front of this one. And I think on the back, I think I'll just have like um, a cherry blossom flower. So these stickers are matte texture. They have like a really soft texture to them and they're a little tiny bit translucent as well so they're not completely opaque um so you can, you will be able to see some stuff underneath but um i think it looks kind of nice so you can see your papers and things underneath you could layer them really easily too um but i love that i love the way it looks very very cute so i might just do this is a fluorescent pencil so I'm just going around the edge of that to kind of highlight it a little bit because I cannot leave things alone there we go so that's my one journal complete 2023 and on the back there's a little cherry blossom very cute and sakura themed <laughs> okay so now I'm quickly gonna do this one which is the first half of the year and it's this really kind of deep foresty green color so I have a lot of stickers that would go with that I have um well they all kind of would really but these nice ones that have green in the more traditional ones and the red actually goes really nice as well like I'd, I'd mentioned before the red and the akabeka goes nice all of these go nice with the green 
Also, the Kakeshi has some green in it. Actually, this is really cool. I like this. We could stick that on. So, let me stick this on. Okay, so I have stuck that on there and I think I'm just going to write weeks on the top of it because it will be my, my weeks. Um, let's just rip this here as well and we can put that on the top. Like so. But I was thinking about just writing weeks. In pencil. Because I just like the way it looks kind of earthy. And I think it goes along nicely with the, the green colour. Okay, and then let's find the perfect one to go with it. Okay, I had to go off camera for a second there to decide what sticker to use because I'm that indecisive. <laughs> um, but I have decided to go with the Akabeko. Very, very cute little Akabeko. Um, and I'm going to stick them right here. Very cute. And I just love that you can see underneath, like you can see the design underneath. It makes it just look really like together instead of being right on top. It makes it look like they're separate pieces together. Um, and then I'll put the little Kokeshi here. And also the Doma there. <laughs> it looks sweet. And one more over here, I think, maybe the Kendama. Okay, I'm really happy with that. Do I need one more? I never know when to stop, so... Yeah. Let's do one more. There we go. Cute! I love it! So, on the back... Which one should we stick on the back? Maybe the ramen. Yeah, let's go with the ramen. I miss eating ramen so much, you would not believe. So definitely let's go with the ramen. There we go, yay! Great, so these are my journals complete. I didn't use the food washi tape, but I did use some of the food stickers. Um, but this is what it looks like, just so you can see. Ta-da! <laughs> Take it back off. And that is going to be it for this week's video. <laughs> Very special one this week. But I really hope that you like these products. I had so much fun creating them. I cannot wait for you to get your hands on these things. I really hope you like them. I will be announcing on Instagram when the products are ready to go live. So please look out for that and I can find a link for you there. I will also link it underneath this video when, as soon as it goes live, which will be um, 4 p.m. GMT, which is uh, my time. I'm in England. So that's my time zone. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. It's my first ever launch. So I really hope you like it um and yeah i can't wait to see you using them please do tag me on instagram if you do manage to get some i would be so over the moon to see that like you would not even believe so yes um thank you for all your lovely comments and your support um it really does mean the world to me and um i'm still in disbelief i'm still in shock that these have my names on them so yes thank you again i'm gonna go now and kind of have a cup of tea and calm down <laughs> thanks again for supporting me um and i will see you next sunday with a brand new video goodbye everybody mm -hmm.